Hi everyone, so I just want to say thank you so much for all of the love that you guys left on my Ultimate Pamper video. That was so much fun to film, for obvious reasons. Um, but I will be picking a winner sometime today and I'll be messaging you via your YouTube message inbox. So keep checking that and I will announce it in the description box of that video as well. So I will link that below so you can keep checking there. But on to today's video and this one is a long time coming. I kind of promised many moons ago that every hundredth video I would do an updated makeup collection and it's been around a year and a half I think since I did my last one so I thought it was time I showed you around my new updated storage system which is behind me now. So this is going to be more of a dressing table tour because that is where all the good stuff resides. I've kind of got skincare and hair care more like dotted around the flat in a less organised system sporadically so maybe I will save that <laughs> another day but I'll save you all the usual disclaimers that go with these makeup collection videos but I have a lot of stuff it's kind of a bit of a problem Ooh dear. Um, and it's taken kind of five six ish years of being a pure makeup obsessive to get here and it's a very unhealthy amount of makeup for one person I have one face but this is kind of my stamp collection I guess I just love it <laughs> it's one of my favorite things to go out and buy what a surprise so this is what my current makeup setup situation is and I actually gave my old dressing table to my friend. I just found that it was getting a bit small and it's a bit kind of overcrowded in there and I just kept reaching for the same things because things are a bit difficult to get to. So I saw this desk actually on Estee's um, makeup collection video and I will, I'll link that up below and it just seemed like the perfect solution for kind of being able to reach all of your makeup that you really, really like very easily and that was from Ikea, I think it's called their Malm dresser and I'll link that below and then the mirror was Ikea as well and the seat is Ikea and then I think the rest of it is all sort of Muji but I, I actually really like the setup that I've got at the moment which is the whole reason I'm doing this video because I think it's the perfect way for just being able to grab your daily essentials really quickly in the morning so let's get a little bit closer. I thought I'd quickly run through everything that's out on the top first and so this vase, this mahoosive bunch of flowers in, I actually didn't have another vase big enough, usually holds all my hairbrushes. So there I've got like a Denman comb, I can't remember what other comb that is but these are basically all the tools that I use um, for my hair, my good old tangle teaser. So they're all usually in there but at the moment they have got a rather nice bunch of flowers in. And then I've got my diptyque, feu de bois candle, or however you say it. And then my brushes are in a empty diptyque um, cup there as well. So let's have a little look at those. So I've actually got a blog post on how I turn these diptyque jars into handy little cups, and I will link that below as well. But all of the usual suspects are in here. There's a lot of real techniques, Japanese, um, eco tools. This brush is pretty awesome. This is a new purchase, and it's the NARS, I think it's called like artisan or something kabuki that's amazing for blush and this is another favorite of mine at the moment as well the charlotte tilbury um, powder and sculpt and of course the real techniques buffing brush that's all in there as well the mirror i've already mentioned that is from ikea and it is fabulous it is absolutely huge which i really really like and it's kind of good because it just stands up on its own so I can do my makeup in other spots of the room if the light is a bit crappy in this corner. And then I've got a Malin and Goat's Mojito candle and then a little stack here. And here I've got some books that I'm reading. On top I've got my watches. So I've got my Michael Kors and my Nixon and that's where they live. And then I've got some palettes which kind of don't really fit anywhere else. So I've got the NARS um, One Night Stand palette. Look at that stunner. And then I've got my MAC eyeshadow palette as well. And I just love this. I'm really back into using um, Espresso as a brow shade. I just love that. So they kind of live there so I don't forget about them. So then on to the big drawer. And this is basically where all of the makeup that I reach for on quite a regular basis lives. And at one end, I keep all my hair and body bits and so that's kind of got like bits that I grab on a daily basis. I've got all my nail stuff in these ones here and then here I've got kind of foundations, blushes and um, eyeshadows are in the back, mascaras and eye pencils and stuff and then lip products and lipsticks are in the back. So it all goes in the way in which I usually like apply my makeup. So it kind of starts with foundation, concealer, eyes. Uh, blush and goes that way. Can you tell that I'm a Virgo? So I'll have a look at it a little bit closer. 
So I've got all my hair and body bits here. So there's the Obey Dry Texturizing Spray, the Thickening Mist. This is awesome. The um, Unite 7 Seconds Conditioner is just the bomb. I've got some like, oh, an Aromatherapy Associates Support Body Oil. This is really good as well. This is new, the Bumble and Bumble Preta Powder. My deodorant, which is the Soap Waller Deodorant Cream. A flannel is just amazing to have in there if there's ever any makeup spillages, that's what I reach for first. And then these are great as well. These are the Body Shop pointed um, cotton buds, but I need some more of those. I've used all of those. And then um, these are all my kind of nail and just random odds and sods. And all of these boxes that you see are actually from um, Muji. And they're all stackable and I've got kind of different, um, I think I've got all three different sizes. So I've got some of the long ones here, then I've got some of the wider ones and then I've got some of the mini ones at the end. And they're so handy, they're really, really cheap and they kind of just section everything off so it's all really easy to like use and move around. So in here I've got pencil sharpeners, some cuticle stuff and some top coats. And then in here, you've got to have the good old, you know, got to have one of those. Um, it got my cuticle remover there. Loads and loads and loads of eyelash curlers. I just absolutely love eyelash curlers. And then I've got like tweezers and the rest of my nail tools in there. And if I take these out behind, I have a mini bottle of Bioderma and some tissues and some cotton pads in case you know, I'm trying to do eyeliner and it all goes a little bit, tits up halfway through. And then here are all of my favourite foundations that I've kind of been reaching for on a daily basis. And this is probably the section that changes the most. I'm always switching this up. At the moment, I am super into the Chanel Vitalumia Aqua. I just think it's amazing, especially for like no makeup, makeup days. And I'm currently B10 in that because I have not fake tan for a very long time. Oh, and I got a new bottle of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation the other day. So that's exciting. It's got new packaging and also this is incredible I love this the Chanel Le Blanc de Chanel is fabulous and I've been using that with the um, luminous silk for kind of days when I don't want too much coverage and I'll take this out and then in the back this has got more like tinted moisturizers and concealers in and so the Estee Lauder double wear concealer is probably one of my newest favorites but I really like that bourgeois happy light the Rimmel um, primer is amazing. Also the NARS, gotta love the NARS concealer. Oh, and this is where I keep my Hourglass Arch Brow Pencil, which I use all the time um, because that's the only place that it really fits. And then this is where I keep all my blushes and bronzers and contours and highlighters. So of course I've got all my two Kevin Aquan bits below there, my hourglass um, ambient lighting powder, which is just incredible. And then, new favorite, wearing this today, the NARS Dosa blush is really, really, really nice. And I'm not a massive blush wearer, but that is beautiful. And then if I pull this out at the back, this is where all of my kind of eye products and eye palettes live. So I've got loads of cream eyeshadows up the back, loads of the L'Oreal infallible, uh, what are these, infallible eyeshadows, really, really like those. Uh, this is what I'm wearing on my eyes today, the Burberry Sheer Eyeshadow in Pale Barley. But one that I am particularly loving at the moment is the Urban Decay Naked 3. And I'm particularly getting a lot of use out of this shade here, which is called Nuno. It's a really nice, quite warm, matte colour. I've just been washing that all over my lids and I have done a full review of this on my blog so guess what maybe I will link that below too. Then moving on to two of the smaller containers that I've got and one of them contains all things to do with eyes. So in here I've got mascaras and eye pencils and eyeshadow sticks. I've particularly got a thing for these from Charlotte Tilbury, the Colour Chameleon and this is an amazing shade bronzed garnet and then I've got my all-time favorite um, concealer, not concealer, eye primer in here from NARS and then a selection of drugstore um, mascaras because I just love a good drugstore mascara so I've got those in there as well and then this drawer here I think should just be renamed the NARS lip pencil drawer because I just have a bit of a thing for them at the moment and I'm massively in love with this one which is Cruella, I think this was in my November favourites actually. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous shade. I love Red Square as well, that's very well loved and used. 
Um, but that's just got kind of lip glosses and all oh, these as well, the Clarins um, Instant Light Natural Lip Factors. I have quite a few of those and the Laura Mercier lip gloss. Those are incredible as well. So they all live in there. And then towards the back, this is where I've got kind of all of my lipsticks that I really, really like. And so I've got MAC, um, some YSL, some Tom Ford. Um, this is incredible from Rimmel. They're Moisture Renew in Love With Ginger. I used this in my drugstore tutorial recently. I love that. And then these are just one of my all time favorites as well, the Hourglass Opaque Rouges. I've got a few shades of those. So that is everything in this main drawer. You may have noticed that below, oh, new bag. I will be having a what's in my bag um, video coming up very soon with that. The chair is Ikea, and then you may have noticed this. Now this is from, Muji, this is just like the classic Muji storage that I think kind of a lot of beauty lovers have. And in here, th these are the things which maybe I don't use every day, but I still can't kind of bear to let go. So I thought I'd just give you a quick little tour of what is in these drawers. And the top one, this is actually a bit of a weird drawer. This has got a lot of like collector's edition-y style makeup in that I just cannot bear to use. I kind of picture giving this to like future grandchildren a long way down the line and then being like, grandma, you had serious issues with makeup. And then top drawer, this has quite a lot of primers in, um, highlighters and really light coverage bases, more like tinted moisturizers. And then this one, more tinted moisturizers again. Are you sensing a theme? I just love bases, they're kind of my thing. And then here has more um, like full coverage ones in and I really like the YSL um, Tisha Clay foundation. The Bobbi Brown foundation is amazing and my old favorite, who remembers this? Uh, the Gemma Kid Light is Air Liquid Foundations. And this one is practically empty. There is nothing in there, but I just, I, even the fact that there might be one face application in there, I cannot get rid of that. And then in here, this is more like powders and bronzers. I tend to use um, this one quite a lot, the By Terry um, Hyaluronic Hydra Powder and some really good bronzers in there. This is always in there. The Blumen, <laughs> the Chanel, Soleil Tan, the Chanel, which I always, Always I'm like, I need to start using that, but I just find it a bit of a faff, but can't get rid of it. This is a bit of a chocker drawer of um, blushes. Yeah, that's that's quite a, quite a full one. This one is a bit random. This has um, kind of concealers and eye primers in, and then some palettes, the My Urban Decay Naked 2 and 3, <laughs> 2 and 1 are in there. Underneath that, I've got some kind of eye drawers. So these have a lot of my palettes in, or like individual shadows. Really like that one from Rimmel. And this is amazing, the Comfort Zone palette from Wet n Wild. And then the Bobbi Brown, they've got some amazing ones out. I think this is the Warm Smoky Eye palette. Look at that, that is a stunner. And then underneath that, I kind of have a bit of a thing for cream eyeshadows in stick form. So there is a lot of those in here. Also extras of the L'Oreal Telescopic because you know how much I love that mascara. So I kind of keep any extras that I've got in here and some false lashes in the back as well. And then onto lips, wow, this is gonna be a very long video. This has extra MAC lipsticks. Back in the day, I had a huge MAC lipstick thing. I just was obsessed with them. I've got some insane colors in here, but I just, I like to keep them, you know, just in case. I've got some YSL bits at the back. And then this one is more like lip glosses and extra bits and bobs. And then the bottom one, these are all the, right, look at those. I actually did color code these earlier today. <laughs> I just thought, why not make them look a bit like a cute color rainbow? These are the Revlon um, Color Burst um, Matte Balms and the Lacquer Balms, I think they're called. And I was lucky enough to preview these and they're really, really nice. Like, especially like uh, the kind of darker shades of the matte balms really good. It's good to see kind of a high street brand getting behind this whole lip pencil thing. We love a bit of that. So that is everything. I really hoped you enjoyed this little tour and it came in handy for some of you who are perhaps looking for a new storage solution. I, like I said, I will link up everything below so you can check it all out there. Um, and keep an eye out for my next video because it is super festive and I'm very excited about this one. It may even be a get ready with me video. 
there you go you have been warned but thank you for watching i hope you like this video and i'll see you guys soon bye